A candlelight vigil for the victim of a shooting becomes a warning for others to stop the gunplay. Asheville police say 18-year-old Derek Bomar Jr. died of an accidental gunshot wounding, wound to his head on Saturday. News 13 Cheryl Barber joins us now live at the park where family members held that vigil. And Cheryl, they talked about peace. And they say peace will only come to this neighborhood when people get rid of their guns. There was changing his life around. Derek Bomar's mother says her son had found a new path. He had started going to school, doing what he needed to be doing. He joined the church. He was looking for a job. He, you know what I'm saying, he basically spent a lot of time with his kids. Two little boys who lost their father when police say a gun accidentally fired, killing him. Friends and family gathered today on Walton Street to share memories and to wear shirts they printed of a man they loved and treasured. I believe it was an accident. I just want to know exactly what's ha what happened because there was too many people standing around. You don't play with guns. Accident. It happened. Derek's aunt holds little honor, Derek's youngest son. She hopes honor and the other children in the neighborhood could live without the fear and risk of gun tragedies. Leave the guns alone. It ain't solve nothing. I don't want no other parent to go through this. Them guns ain't bringing him back. It's only going to take another and another. Put them guns down. About 200 neighbors joined the family to honor Derek's memory at Walton Street Park. They enjoyed a cookout. Thank you. It don't matter anything to help. Then lit candles and walked in a procession to the apartment on Livingston Street where the shooting happened. We are going to see the king. They sang songs and released their balloons, inscribed with the words, gone but not forgotten. And they spoke about the children left behind. What we want them to know is what their father was, what he was, a man that was trying to do right to do for them, trying to make them proud at the end. And that's what I want them to remember, and that's what I want his friends to tell them. Now, services for Derek Bomar will be held at 2 o'clock tomorrow at the Tried Stone Missionary Baptist Church in Asheville. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.